and so pretty. Like, I cannot get over how pretty he is. Which makes it even more terrifying knowing that he killed and puppeted 298 people. Yeah, and you don't look a day over 17. Hello lovelies, I'm C, and welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden. Um, so I've been able to take some time to mourn, um, but I am feeling a little bit better. I feel, you know, like before when I get into these episodes after what happened to Gara, it was just like depression. <laughs> like, I don't even want to see this. Now I'm feeling more acceptance of what has happened and all I want is for Gara to get a beautiful funeral service, whatever it may be. Um, I don't know what this, the Sand Village does. Um, but yeah, just something to pay respects to him. That's all I want. And um, yeah, I'm very curious to see what uh, Sasori looks like. Um, I'm expecting Pinocchio. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into episode 21. <laughs> She's like, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah, so she was his teacher. I had a feeling. The reveal. Yo, he has red hair too? Just like Gara, man. Why does the Akatsuki all have that same black nail polish on them? Black or purple? What happened? Isn't it him? Is it? What? Okay. A little too pretty. I was not expecting that. I mean, we'll see. What? So he's trying to get him further away. Honey, I think you're overestimating yourself right now. <laughs> I love it, Kakashi is like, hopefully Sakura's okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair to Kakashi, in this moment, he does need to follow Naruto because as much as, yes, I don't want anything to happen to Sakura, Naruto is someone they're actively after, so him just running off by himself is not a good idea. Oh, even they're following. どうしたかんくろ。ここで休憩を取る。何いや、でプロブリティアイルド。あんくろ。こんなところで死んだら休んでる暇などない。そう焦るなって。いつもの姉貴らしくないじゃん。I I'm just imagining if I was doing like a race with like a 70 year old man and he's like standing tall and I'm like dying. Mm. They've been working hard. Oh. Yeah, 
I guess this is where they fought um, the fake uh, Itachi. And that's the difficulty, right? Because it's like you're going off of the emotion of what you're you're going for, but it's very hard to separate emotion from um conscious thought and analyzation of the situation wow <laughs> just lost their cool Yeah, which which I understand is why they dealt with this the way they did. Yeah, what happened? So he's not dead. So obviously he's not dead. Because in anime world, unless you see a body, they probably ain't dead. Yeah, this is like a young, like, boy. And so pretty. Like, I cannot get over how pretty he is. Which makes it even more terrifying knowing that he killed and puppeted 298 people. Yeah, and you don't look a day over 17. Uh, like, literally? What? What did he just summon? Is that a... Is that a puppet? Is that the third? Yo! Wow! He is... Disgusting. Yeah, he's disgusting. <laughs> wow. He made him a puppet. <laughs> Yo, I want the story. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yo, I'm glad I came here. She's like, I didn't know all the shit you were doing. I think he's done more than get himself mixed up in a bad crowd. Third time. What do you do the second one? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, so it wasn't him. So he still had a hand to play. A man's literally like, it wasn't me, it was my subordinate. Really? Wow. I swear, Orochimaru's name comes up more- Oh god, ugh. His name comes up so frequently, it's like that could be a drinking game. 
オロチマルと組んでたってことはオロチマルのことを I mean, he probably knows a little bit. Why do you think he's going to answer your questions? He doesn't really seem the type. <laughs> but I like that she's taking charge. So you've said. Yeah, he's psycho. He's a psychopath. Oh my god. Damn. So it's like puppet against puppet. Oh my god, I didn't even take in the fact that that destroyed his tail. That was like amazing. Uh oh, what's written on that? Oh my gosh. Uh, how many hands are the Oh my gosh. Look at Is she okay? I don't know why. I feel like she's fine. She got lucky as hell. Okay. It's puppeteer against puppeteer. Uh oh. Is that a poison gas? Shit. You know, poor Sakura. <laughs> She's literally a puppet right now. I'm sure she's fine, right? I mean, she's a medic. Yo. <laughs> Every episode is crazier and crazier. I can't lie, though. I love it. Like, I'm actually, like, legit so invested in everything that's happening right now. And to know that he's the reason the third Kazukage never came back. That's brutal. Because it just shows how long he's been working against the Sand Village. But it makes you wonder, like, why? Why did he leave? Why did he join the Akatsuki? Like, what was the motivation? Was it just because he's a psychopath? And he thought he'd be able to kill and animate more puppet, uh, puppets that way. Like, I do think that the beauty of the show, and I think the reason why so many people love the Akatsuki is like, there's a story. Even if I don't know what the story is, like, there's obviously a story behind these characters and their motivations. Whether it's like, you know, they were... They were led here because of like, you know, horrible circumstances that they had, or if they're just like psychopaths. That is something you still kind of want to know and understand. So I got to give it to Naruto, ship it in for that. And Naruto. Yo, look at those nails! He's got his his claws out literally. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Everybody's okay. Good. Like <laughs> Mm-hmm, good. 
things didn't go your way because Kakashi was was following. How tiring must it be to fight yourself? Like, I can't even imagine. I mean, for me, it would be super easy because they like, KO me in like one second. But like, when they're this strong and talented as a fighter. Exactly, you're just gonna literally fight until you fall. And I guess these traps don't get tired. Wow. There's gotta be a way to get rid of them. They'll literally be doing this forever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. The only way I can see it working is if all of them get together and then try to fight their other... Like, their different selves. <laughs> I hope that was English. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but you need to breathe. Shit, it got her. He literally gets the award for worst grandson of the year. Shit. And I guess she can't like cut herself out. <laughs> I love how easily he's like, it's a kunai knife with a rope attached to it. It's very basic, grandma. Terrifying. See if she can try and take off her boots, you know what I mean? Yeah, this has literally become like a tug of war. Dang, she's like thinking about Naruto's strength. Come on. Yes, she's remembering that moment when she wasn't strong enough. Come on, girl. What did she... Oh shit, she's out. I don't think she's dead, obviously, but she's definitely out. Wow, it's so like nice to see how much more she cares. So remember when she was side-eyeing Sakura before? It's really weird just seeing him look like a, a boy, knowing he's like 30-something years old. <laughs> I mean, that's her. That's one of her biggest strengths. She's smart. I mean, it worked. My girl's like, I ain't dying today. Oh, oh, okay, Sakura, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, she can't stand. She got some, yeah. How do you take a knee for now? Tap out, let Granny tap in. Damn. 
Okay, yeah, uh, that, that, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Granny did something there, but, yeah. What the hell? I'm sure Kakashi is picking up on the fact that he's trying to get rid of him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Kakashi's not an idiot, so yeah. How do you just give up? Mm. Alright, which is what? Oh. Um. Oh. She's like, this is a life lesson for you, hun. So she got some puppets of her own. Why am I unnerved by these puppets? That one has the same color hair as him. Don't even tell me. Please tell me those are not related. Please tell me those are not his parents. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me they're not really his parents. And they're literally just puppets. Mm. Please tell me they are not part of the 298. I am so unnerved. Like, this guy is actually the creepiest. Sakura. She's like, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit, she just got a sword. Ooh. Damn. Okay, okay. Yeah. Holy shit. Feels like Geppetto versus Pinocchio. Let's go. The master versus the pupil. Yeah. So with a lot of training, this is where Conqueror wants to be. <laughs> Ooh. All of them have been like destroyed. Damn. No shit. What? You always have something in the mouth. Locus? 
What the hell? What was his? What was his jutsu? And how is it able to use his jutsu still? Explain. Iron Sand. Sasori is a psychotic serial killer. It's so unnerving to watch him. Knowing he's just been like, like I don't even know if he's the like the bodies were already deceased for some of these in the early stages, or if he killed them and then turned them into puppets, because it's like his mom and dad were his first puppets. I feel like that's a red flag, like. That is really weird. That it's so weird. And it's so unnerving too when you see how pretty he is. Because again, he's supposedly supposed to be, I think, like in his like either 30s or 40s. And he looks like he's like 17 years old. And so that hasn't been explained. <laughs> like we don't know why he looks so young. Um But I'm sure there's a story. I mean, watching that puppet fight between him and Granny was actually very interesting. And it shows you, like, the, the strength of being a puppeteer. But at the same time, like, completely unnerving. <laughs> Knowing that those used to be people. <laughs> like, that was his mom and dad and then the third Kazikage. So it's like, um, you had real people turned into puppets and now you're fighting each other with them very very strange um the iron sand what the hell that sounds like a problem like a very very big problem is coming up with that um yeah wow who knew that like so much <laughs> i do love uh sakura's passion when she was talking to him and like oh i, I want information on Orochimaru. tomorrow you're gonna tell me but she was sadly very very unmatched um as much as she's grown and as powerful as she's become she's she's not on the same tier uh, so I, I knew that wasn't going to work out for her. <laughs> I'm very happy that granny <laughs> stepped in and was like, you know, hold my beer. I'm going to, I'm going to handle this right now. And you just say, you stay back. <laughs> um, but I, I still, I don't know if even she is capable of defeating him. He just seems to continuously have more and more tricks up his sleeve. And knowing that he was able to use the jutsu of, uh, the third, even though he died, it, it just opens the door for like, is he able to continuously use the jutsu of other people once he's made them into puppets? That's scary. That's very, very scary. And it makes me even more worried about if he was able to keep Gara. I'm I'm a hundred percent hundred percent certain he would have turned him into a puppet. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Yeah, Naruto needs to get Gara back. <laughs> he needs to get Gara back. Um, it, I, I do understand that, like, it's it's hard. Like, Kakashi is so sensible. And he is that person where it's like, you as the audience understand, like, okay, this is a bad move. You're getting further and further away from the rest of your team. And you're going to make it super difficult um, to help each other if you need it because now you're isolated. You're isolated on one side, they're on the other side. You don't know what's going on. You can't help them. And he recognized very, very early on that uh, Dadara was trying to um, separate him and Naruto as well. And was like, no, nah, 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 that's not going to happen. The problem is I get why Naruto is so emotional 
in this moment um i think it's difficult to sometimes when you're watching such adult situations to forget that like these are teenagers <laughs> and i'm pretty sure naruto is like 17 years old and i don't think he's ever really dealt with loss of somebody that he was close to besides the um the the third hokage so i don't think he even understands how to properly deal with the emotions going through him and especially because he and gara have a bond that a lot of other people that even naruto is close with can never understand i mean we had that whole thing with sasuke where sasuke is like you don't get it and it's true he doesn't understand what you know sasuke's been through but gara understands naruto and naruto understands gara so i think there was a difficulty there too of watching gara and like before when he was telling gara like get up get up and gara's still there still dead and he's looking at this character who or this person who he you know saw as so strong and so powerful and you know just to see that like he's died and he told everybody like i'm gonna get gara back and it's like you see your failure upon arrival and like at 17, and Gar I mean, like Naruto's already hot headed. He always has been. That's just a part of his character. And I guess with like more maturity and more experience, he'll be better able to handle that. But I think a lot of it was like it's guilt and pain and sadness. But because he can't feel guilty and pained and sad, the easiest thing to help motivate, which we've even seen with Sasuke is to find a target for what's happened and latch onto that with your anger and it helps push you <laughs> in a way that sadness in that moment can't right uh so i think right now naruto is he's so focused on getting gara back and you know just like fighting um didara or whatever his name is God, I always wish I say it like terribly, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, he's so focused on fighting him and getting Gara back, but it's like the thoughts of this is not a rational decision you're making just is not clicking. All he's focused on is what he didn't do, which was save Gara. And he's like, this is the only thing I can give Gara, which is like his body back to his family. Cause he said he'd bring Gara back even if it's in this situation and like gara not being alive anymore he's going to bring gara back but uh, i mean it's it's a first loss so i i get it i really, i think it's a first loss if i'm wrong correct me but i think this is his first real like big loss so anger is how he's dealing with this and i can't say i would have been any different at 17 especially <laughs> even now i probably wouldn't have been as different but in hindsight like after a few um a few days have gone by i'd be like yeah, i was probably a little rash <laughs> uh but yeah i've been talking for a really long time this was very very interesting we're learning a lot about the uh history of Sasori and it's making him look very disturbed <laughs> but if you enjoy this reaction and you want to see more please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye